Yo, what is going on, guys? It is JMD here, now I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode of my Atlanta Hawks My GM mode. This episode, there will be no gameplay. It will be some sim, some more simcast, and maybe some other stuff. You never know. So right here, I'm looking through my lineup. See, we acquired Richard Jefferson. Uh, who else did we get? Richard Jefferson, uh, Carlos Boozer, Wayne Ellington, and Raymond Felton in the last episode. So hopefully, the that their depth can um bring a solid impact to this team moving forward. So our my opinion on this team right now is we're not we're good. I say we're good enough to make like the eighth seed in the playoffs. Like at the best. Like but at the worst we I mean we could definitely be a lot better. We still have a lot of improving to do. So we're hopping into our first game with Simcast. We are leading the Bucks going into the fourth quarter. And we will pull out this victory. 98 to 87. You can see Victor Oladipo scored a season high in that game. He scored a total of 25 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists. And Joel Embiid snagging 14 rebounds on only 4 points. Also adding two blocks and one steal into the mix. Then we got Nick Young with 22 points. Paul Millsap with 12. Roten with 12. Felton with 7. And you can see the rest. Ellington, Payne, and Jefferson all did not play in that game. So, tapping into this game against the almighty, all overpowered Cleveland Cavaliers. Although they are not doing all that well in real life, I kind of hope that that, that kind of continues, but I'm I'm afraid that that's not going to happen. They're, I, I think they're still going to make a run in the playoffs, but I don't know. Anyways, we are going to lose, to lose this game, and Joel Embiid has a twisted ankle, but he, but he is going to play against the Jazz. We lose by 15, 95 to 80. So the reason why I traded, um, what's his name, Al Horford for Joel Embiid is one, the age difference. Um, Hor I mean, yeah, Horford's about one, no, he's about 10 years older than Embiid, more like nine. And honestly, like he, I think Horford's just like kind of past his prime, but he kind of is in his prime. I don't, I don't even know. But Embiid is 20. He's, this is his rookie year. And he's still, and he's pretty close to his overall. So give him one year, and I'm pretty sure he will be the same overall as Horford, if not higher. So that is why I got Joel Embiid, and because I like to use him in in my team. But I think I sold him, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sold him. So right here, you can see I am adjusting these minutes right here. Giving Bo Boozer's getting 24 minutes a game, which I don't really like that. Like Boozer, like he he's an okay player, but he's uh, he I don't th I think he's overrated to be honest. So here we're gonna hop into this game against the Utah Jazz. Hey King Dumont, yeah, yeah, call me King Dumont, boy, Lucas. Mao Chong Chen from China, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure. Yes, he's from China. That's that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> all right, so um, we're gonna do scout always handle because we do not have any picks, and that moves up his trust by 25. So he is Joel Embiid is back from his twisted ankle, and he's back against the Jazz. So let's let's go out and get this W, guys. All right. And we are off to kind of a slow start. And they drop 40. They drop like 38 points in the first quarter. And we get completely 
completely blown out by the Jazz. Kind of embarrassing. My bad, they scored 39 in the first quarter. 127 to 89. We almost lost by 30 to the Jazz. Wait, 30, 40. We almost lost by 40 to the Jazz. We lost by 38. God damn. That was worse than that Bulls game we played. Alright, so here is Victor Oladipo. He wants me to uh, increase. Oh, he's max. I didn't. I didn't increase his training thing, training intensity. So I used one of those pitches just to boost his thing up, just so he doesn't want to leave. Cause Old Depot is a beast. He can shoot. He can dunk. He can do it all. And he's on very high intensity. So that is why he wants to bring it down. Cause he is training a lot, a lot harder than probably everybody on this team. So. Yeah, we're gonna move the team training up to high. Cause like this training thing is kind of annoying. Just cause like I can't simulate a whole year without getting like 30, 30 cutscenes about training. It's just kind of obnoxious, but I guess it kind of adds more realism to this game in a way. All right, I didn't even bother reading what Boozer had to say. But I think he wanted to lower his intensity. Because Boozer's an old man. So we are going to do Simcast against the Portland Trailblazers. Hopefully we can pull out this W here. And we win the first quarter. I oh, know we lose the second qu first quarter, my bad. And then we lose the second quarter. Then we lose the third quarter. So that means we lose the fourth quarter. So we get blown out once again by 20 points. 30 points. 30 points. Yep. Another 30 point loss. Two back to back blowouts. I don't even care about the. I honestly could care less about the press trust. Like, they're just freaking. They're just spazzes, anyways. Nick Young only scored 19. Millsap got 17 points, 12 boards. Embiid only grabbed 7 boards. Felton got 7 boards as well. So Felton's been playing decent for us so far. Just looking at this, Embiid has gone up 3. But that's actually great. So I'm just going to simulate past, the, past this Wizards, Wizards game, see if we can get a trade call. But of course, a cutscene is about an injury. Ben McElmore, bruised hip, out for like one to two weeks, I think it said. Another cutscene. Um, rebounding, Drummond. Uh, you know, you know what, Coach? No, oh, Coach, we got this. We got this, man, and we lose. Okay, should have should have listened to Coach Budenholzer. My bad, my bad. Oh, Nick Young twisted his ankle as well. Way to go, Nick. What'd you do, Nick? Swaggy P. That's a sick. I don't. I don't know why they call him Swaggy P. I'll, I'll have to try and figure that out. All right. So we. I'm just gonna simulate. Uh, I think no. I think I'm done simulating here. See, look, Boozer thinks he's thinks he deserves a starting role over Paul Millsap. Like, re really, dude? Of course, I'm naked. That's awesome. Um, so I'm just gonna deny him because he is not gonna be a starter on this team. Yeah, that's just how it's gonna work out, booze. Oh uh, yeah. So here's the upcoming free agents. We got LeBron, Tim Duncan, Kevin Love, Lamarcus Aldridge, Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, L. Jefferson, and Ray Jean Rondo. So I think that is gonna wrap things up for today. Yes. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up for today, guys. I hope you all enjoy. And a guy I'm targeting for free agency is Goran Dragic. So hopefully we can land him. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.